Hello dear students, welcome back in our biology session. So we are discussing our lesson that is reproduction in animals. So in this lesson already we have discussed some point, we have discussed about the fertilization, the types of fertilization. Also we have discussed about the male and female reproductive organs. So today we will move for the next point from the same lesson that is today we will discuss about the fertilization in human beings. So let us discuss about how the exactly fertilization happens in the human being. So as we know, in the human being, the fertilization happens internally or we can say that in the human being, the internal fertilization takes place. Years of the sperms are introduced, introduced into the vagina with the help of the penis during the mating. And that process is called as what? Ejaculation. That process is called as what? Ejaculation. So, what is mean by the ejaculation? The process of releasing of sperms into the vagina is called as what? Ejaculation. Okay. After that, so as we know, the sperms are highly motile. Motile means what? They are so much movable. So, they are highly active and the motile sperms are they transfer or are reached into the parochial tube through the uterus. There, the sperms are getting mixed into the mature eggs, and that eggs become fertilized. And once the eggs get become fertilized, the eggs started to form the protective layers on them. And because of that protective layer, or because of that hard protective layer, what happens? The another sperms we cannot get enters into the egg. So once the ejaculation process is done, then that sperms, which are very active and the motile, so that active when the motile sperms are being transferred to the fallopian tube through the uterus, and there the millions of the sperms are there, but among the millions of the sperms, the one sperms get fused with the single egg or the ovum. Okay, so the sperms and the ovum get fertilized, and once the fertilization is done, then that fertilized egg started to form the protective layers on it. Which avoids the entry of the other sperms into the egg. If ovum is not fertilized by sperm, then the mature egg is get expelled out through the vagina along with some muscles and the blood, and that is known as what? Menstruation. And which is called as what? Menstruation. Okay. So this is the two process of the now we have discussed that is what ejaculation and the menstruation. Ejaculation means what? The introducing of the sperm into the vagina is called as what ejaculation. And if the egg doesn't get fertilized, then that egg is expelled out to the female's body with the help of the vagina along with the blood and the muscles, and that process is known as what? Menstruation. Okay. Now we will discuss about the next point that is what? Development of embryo. So how the exactly development of the embryo is happens in the body or takes place in the female's body we will discuss. So once the fertilization is happened, so how what is going to be the fertilization, the fusion of the male gamete and the female gamete, the fusion of the sperms and the egg cell causes what? Fertilization. And that fertilization forms what? Zygote. The fertilization forms the zygote. So once the zygote is formed, that zygote rapidly and repeatedly started to get divided and started to form the hundred number of the cell or the number of the cell or they started to form the ball of the cell. And after that, that cell started to begin to form a group. And as we know, the group of the cell forms what tissue. Okay. So the zygotes rapidly and the repeatedly started to get divided and forms the number of the cell or the ball of the cell. That ball of the cell or that number of the cell started to begin to form a group of the cell which started to begin the formation of tissue and the organ of the body. Okay. So this developing method or this developing period of the cycle is called as what? Embryo. The developing period of the zygote is called as what? Embryo. So this developing structure of the zygote is called as what? Embryo. And after that, that embryo is get embedded into the uterus for the further development. Okay? And once the zygote get converted into the embryo, then this embryo get embedded or get transferred to the wall of the uterus for the further development. Implantation. Implantation. Okay, 
and started to grow into what amniotic cavity. Now amniotic cavity means what? Place in the uterus. Okay, and that place in the uterus is get filled with the fluid. Okay, so that fluid and the all the space in the uterus is called as what? Amniotic cavity. Okay, so the embryo is started to get developed into this amniotic cavity. So that the embryo started to develop the different body parts such as what hand, legs, head, nose, ears. So all these body organs started to get produced into the embryo. And the stage of the embryo in which the different body parts are identified, that stage is called as what? Fetus. That stage is called as fetus. Okay. So what is mean by the fetus? The embryo started to get developed the different body parts and then all the body parts are well identified okay? and that stage of the embryo in that stage the embryo is having the well identified body parts that stage is called as what? fetus so the fetus is attached to the uterus with the help of the by a spherical structure called as placenta by the spherical structure called as what? placenta so in the image you can see that structure that is Placenta. So, with the help of the placenta, what happens? The fetus get attached to the uterus. So, what is the work of the placenta? That placenta provides the oxygen to the fetus and also decreases the waste products of the fetus. When the development of the fetus is completed, then the mother is giving the birth to the baby. So, once the development is yet completed, after that, what happens? The mother is giving the birth to the baby. So the process from the fertilization up to the birth of the baby, okay? From the fertilization up to the birth of the baby, that process or that period, that period is called as what? Gestation period, okay? That period is called as what? Gestation period. So it about takes nine months for the proper growth of the baby or for the proper development of the baby. So after the nine months, the development of the Yeah. 
the zygote. And once the zygote here forms, then it keeps for certain weeks for the further development of the zygote. And after that, after the certain period of the time, then that zygote is being placed in the mother's uterus. And after the ninth month, that mother is giving the birth to the baby and the other baby. Okay, so here what we can say that the fertilization of the sperms and the eggs are happen outside the female's body, but all the other development of the embryo is happens inside the uterus only. Okay, and the baby is produced from this type of the in vitro fertilization, which is called as what test tube baby. Okay, so all the test tube baby it means what the baby doesn't get developed in the test tube. Okay, only the fertilization it happens in the test tube and all the other remaining development of the baby is happens in the uterus of the females. Okay? So that process in that what happens the eggs and the sperm get fertilized outside in the human being it is called as what? In vitro fertilization. Okay? So this is all about the fertilization and the development of embryo in human being. Now we will discuss about the next point that is what fertilization in hen and also the development of the embryo in hen. So as we know in the hen also the internal fertilization is happen. Okay, in the feed in the hen the internal fertilization is happen and once the fertilization is happen, then the zygote started to divide significantly and started to travel down in the and while traveling, they started to produce certain protective layers on E. And if you have seen the egg of the hen, then the hen of the egg is having the white color protective layer. That is the one part of the protective layer which the egg is having. And once the hard shell or the hard protective layers is forms on the egg, then the hen is laying the egg. And in that egg there is an embryo and that embryo get converted into the chick within the three weeks. But the embryo get converted into the chick for that process that egg requires the worm. And from where that eggs are getting the worm? So that for providing the proper worm to the eggs, the hen is sitting on the eggs and because of the sitting of the hens on the egg that eggs are getting the proper worm and that period or that process is called as what incubation so what is mean by the incubation the hen is providing the worm to the egg and that process is called as what incubation inside the egg shell the development of the chick is takes place and once the development is completely happen or completely development is happen that time what happened the uh, chicks breaks the shell and they comes out from the egg and that process is called as what hatching okay so in this way the fertilization is happen internal but the babies are uh, comes out from the egg okay so in this way the fertilization and the development of the embryo is takes place in the Hen. So this is about what hen but similarly like the hen there are the certain other insects are there, birds are there in that animals also the same processes happens okay means the mother is delaying the eggs they are providing the worm and after that there is a hatching process and from the egg shell after a certain period of the time the babies comes out okay. So this is all about today today we have discussed about what fertilization in human being. Also, we have discussed about the development of embryo and IVF and also we have discussed about the fertilization and the development of embryo in the hen. So, this is all about today. Today, we will stop here. We will meet in the next video with the next point and for today, thank you.